Boom! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint. Today, we are looking at a Harvest Label bag. Harvest Label is a Japanese bag company out of Osaka, Japan. Uh, and they've got some very, very cool bags. When I was in Japan recently, I saw a ton of Harvest Label and Porter and all kinds of bags. And what was everybody rocking? Not the latest, greatest three-way backpacks. They were rocking this small crossbody bags and so i had to get my hands on a small japanese crossbody bag to see what all the rage was about what everybody was raving about why everybody was either wearing one of these or let's be real a north face fuse box backpack those were all over the place but this style of crossbody everybody was rocking and everybody was selling too and all kinds of brands even you know Mizuno and Adidas and everybody had uh, crossbodies like this. So let's get into it. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of this bag, exterior features, then interior features. I'm going to give you two things that I love about this bag, two things that I think could be better or different, and then an overall recommendation who is this, the Harvest Label Connect crossbody sling, the perfect bag for. Let's get into it. Exterior first. This is made with a nylon material. It is a very heavy weight nylon. Zippers are branded Harvest. This one feels aluminum. These have leather pulls on them. This has no pull on it. You've got some Duraflex buckles here. We'll talk about this kind of flap feature here, here in a second. I think that's really interesting. You have light padding on the back and a reversible clip. See this plastic clip, but with leather accessories here. You can clip left or right to switch the shoulder that you are carrying the bag on. And you can see leather detailing up top with a little uh, steel D-ring here for attaching items. So uh, yeah, there's not too much more on the exterior of this bag, but it is a pretty gray material. Oh, and I should show you. It's got this branding, Osaka Japan Harvest Label. I assume that says Harvest Label. Um, in Japanese here and then connect as well time to get into pockets We're already in camera number two doing this whole review in camera number two because I want you to be up close and personal with this pretty cool little bag All right, let's dive in What's in here? Well first off red we've got kind of a wine color interior and We've got a cool kind of game and watch here going on Yeah, really nice stuff so carrying my game and watch what else am I carrying? I use this front pocket for some sunglasses. All right, so this front pocket, it's kind of like a little tech sleeve because if you unclip these Duraflex buckles, it just flaps out of the way and you can see it really is just like a little tech sleeve attached to the front of the bag. I like that. You could also wrap a jacket around it if you wanted to. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay, and then behind it, you've got this kind of admin panel. You could slip a phone in here very easily. I used it for my EDC knife and a titanium spork. Never leave home without one. Then a pen and a Sharpie and an EDC flashlight. All right. Yeah, that's neat. I like that. Really cool construction. I like that a lot. Okay, and then you've got one other compartment because there is no uh, pocket on the back of this sling. So we're going into the main compartment, the main event. It is a half zip here, and it's got the same cool burgundy colorway inside here. And I've got a little pouch that I pulled in here from a brand called Half Sumo. I'll be reviewing a bag from them soon, but I love this little pouch. And then I've got just my cord and my battery backup and charger in there. And then down in here, I put a hat in here as well. And then in the back, look, it's a tech sleeve and an iPad mini. So pretty nice to see that as well. Okay, yeah. So that's the bag. There's not anything else I need to show you in here. No other interior pockets, but a big nice um, drop, drop pocket in here. About a I think it's probably about a five liter sling. If I were going to call this something counting all the pockets, um, four and a half or a five liter sling. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, so let's talk about this thing. Two things that I really like about this bag. First off, the very innovative 
construction here with this flap that drops over the top. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I think that's really innovative and really nice to see. And I'm gonna go ahead and count this as one thing because I like the admin panel back here as well. Really, really nice. The next thing I really like about this bag is the actual form factor itself. So this style of sling, I'm gonna show you at the end of the video with me wearing the sling, is really comfortable to wear. And there's a reason why this style has really taken off in a commuter and train-based commuter culture like Japan. Really awesome to wear. So form factor, great. Innovation with this transformer kind of flap here, really good. Ways that I think this bag could be better. Well, I wish there was a little kind of pocket right here, and what a, not a pocket, not an actual pocket, but a little kind of slip right here so that when you close this, you could actually drop a larger item like a bottle into the top of this and it would be caught on the bottom. So that would be really neat is if you could use this also as a bottle holder, but you can't because of the way it's constructed. That would, I think maybe a missed opportunity. Um, to add a little additional functionality with like a little catch-all here or a bit of webbing that extends and unfolds with the bag. Yeah, that would be really cool. And then inside the bag or on the back of the bag itself, adding a second pocket. So a slip pocket for a passport right here or a zippered pocket in the front here. It's just a little light on pockets. You've got this pocket, you've got the big pocket, you've got the sleeve, and then you've got your admin section. I think there's room for one more pocket right here or sewn into the back panel of the construction. Little light on pockets, especially for what you pay for a Harvest Label sling. All right, so who might this be the perfect bag for? If you're looking for something really, really light and you're a daily commuter and you just wanna kind of bounce around in a city, check out Harvest Label Slings. I'm going to leave a link as always in the video description, but check out Japanese sling makers and really frankly, any culture or country where they are very heavy on subway or train-based commuting. You will be surprised at the kind of quality that you can get from those places. And I put a video together recently about where to find cheap bags online. Um, if you're interested in Japanese bags, uh, you don't necessarily have to go to super premium sites. You can go to Amazon Japan. Um, so check out that video. I'll link that as well. Um, but you can check out some of these bags on Amazon Japan as well. All right, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video, seeing something completely different here. Um, I, I think this is a very cool bag and I, it was a pleasure to see it. Let's see what it looks like with me wearing it. And uh, as always, everybody, thank you so much. We will, of course, see you next time. Bye for now.